Allah doesn't change the condition of people until they change from within, from within themselves. Change, as you know, is inconvenient. Change, as you know, brings about a lot of resistance. With change, you have to go against the tide. You have to go against the desires that are presented to you. Some social reformers were able to change their societies and some weren't. Some individuals were able to change themselves and some weren't. And by some humble readings in the religious text and in psychology, I found that the factors for successful change come from sincere intention to change comes from the hard steps that you have to take in order for you to change and comes from the permission and the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for us to change. It is that motivation, that energy that drives us, that reflects on our behavior and meets the divine will and that is the formula that I see for successful change. Sincere change come from looking into our lives and realizing that there is a higher level that we are yet to achieve. That there are many flaws that we need to overcome. That there are many sin sins that we need to repent from were created in this life and go through a natural cycle of change. Everything in this life goes through cycles of change. Change is a necessity of this life. By realizing that we need to change, we formulate this intention an intention of sincere change that brings us from whatever we were to something that is higher. Sincere change come from realizing that the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not easy and is not by following desires. It is by bringing ourselves closer to all the, the obligations that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put upon us. And once we walk on that path, that's when we taste the sweetness of it.